Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new call-in show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Miracle Guidance. Uh, I'm Carmen Hara, and I'm so excited to be with you live every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Time right here on Home Time Radio with my amazing producer, Christopher. I'm very grateful to Christopher. We're doing this for many years already. And um, every week I'm trying to um, come up with a different idea. And for tonight, the, the topic and uh, the theme of the show is uh, regarding uh, the fact that we need to learn how to listen. And I call the show The Power of Communication, the communication in relationship. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to teach you the major secret to lasting relationship. And the secret is speaking the same language, conversation that revolve around compromise, many times they result in enduring relationship. Now, effective uh, conversation, effective communication shouldn't be complicated. Yes, yet many, many people, most couples, complain of having a lot of issues. And this uh, proves to be a serious problem. that can, that can actually break even the strongest bond between people. So I want to offer you the key how to improve communication with your partner and with everybody else so you can break through uh, blockages and find solutions together. So I want also speak one-on-one with you in order to navigate uh, through any of your challenges. And as I said, I'm super excited about this topic that I think is so powerful, so relevant. Um, too often, you know, you make mistakes when you speak, especially to your significant other, uh, because we act on emotion. We scream because we think we're not heard. We bring up the past. We call uh, the person we love uh, uh, awful name sometimes. Even in the heat of an argument, we can choose to talk in a way that produces better results. When you express yourself with, with negative emotion, with screaming, with anxiety, uh, then you make a terrible mistake. And I will tell you why there are three of the biggest, which are actually the three of the biggest communication mistakes that will ruin all the good relationship, every single one of them. The first mistake is when you communicate in an in- interrogatory way, like we call it interrogation and aggression. So you're aggressive because you're angry, you're suspicious, you doubt, you have no trust. And I think that no one likes to be interrogated and no one likes it more than a man. So when a woman does it, the man responds in a very negative way. When we want to have a serious talk with our partner, we, we tend to sometimes bombard him with all our um, questions and concern as soon as he walks through the door. This is not only frustrating, you know, for the other person, but it is ineffective in the way, the way of articulating needs. So jumping uh, from subject to subject, uh, uh, you know, doesn't validate our point, the point that we try to make. It is the human nature, the human nature is to accuse the other person when you are being accused. And even if you 
uh, not guilty, but especially if you're guilty. So if you speak aggressively, your partner will respond aggressively, which means a misunderstanding can escalate into some kind of a war. Is that what you want? No. So the number one mistake, as I said, is interrogation and aggressiveness. So be careful with that. The second mistake is talking about him instead of to him. So there's a world of a difference. Now, internal influences are like weeds that ravish a, a flourishing bond. But without intending to, we invite all sorts of energy into our relationship because we start to complain to our mother, to our sister, to our family, to friends, to enemies sometimes that play a role in the dynamic we share with our partner. So be careful about that. You know, if you want to do something uh, constructive, do it just between you and your par parent. So become aware of who and what is interfering in your relationship. Who's brainwashing you or your partner? So doing things like hanging up on your partner in the middle of the disagreement or calling, calling your friend to complain about him uh, is not only an unwise choice, but is a prime communication mistake. That's why talking about him instead of talking to him. So be careful. That's a major mistake. It is you and your partner who are in a relationship, not your mother, not your friend, not your sibling, not any other outside party. So acknowledge how your ego is influencing your dialogue. Because focusing on me, me, me when you talk is constantly saying things like, oh, you hurt me. You did this to me. But this encourages progress, you know, and creates more tension. A, a heightened ego is actually probably the most destructive force of all relationships because it's your ego, it's you, you who is, at, is the center of the attention because it makes us think about only ourselves and neglect and, ne neglect and actually mistreat the other person. I'm going to mistake number three, lashing out when you're desperate. Arguments often form because one or both partners have reached desperate limits. Bickering emerges from dissatisfaction that will never resolve, and that can happen in couples all the time. But when you experience extreme emotion, emotions, our thoughts become disorganized and we are forgetting to filter our words. And this leads us to say things we don't mean, which we likely later to regret. Yelling, fighting, diminish the power and the authenticity of your words. And speaking when you are at your, uh, your worst wits and may just end up a relationship abruptly, that you don't want that relationship, in fact, to end. Now, uh, I want to take your calls because there's a lot of you tonight, more than usual, a lot of people calling. But I want to talk to you also about the seven secrets to good communication. But before I go and take some of your calls and then discuss the secrets to communication, because everything has a secret, I want to talk to you about um, inviting you to uh, follow me on social media, be my friend on Facebook. I have 175,000 followers on Facebook, on one page, and around uh, Feel free to, to be my friend on Facebook, because this way you're going to listen to a lot of um, interesting videos, um, a lot of um, entertainment stuff, uh, dancing, music. Uh, I think my page uh, is, is going to be uh, a source of... Um, Inspiration when you need to be inspired by a positive action. Wonderful information. Use on a daily basis. help you uh, discover the uncovered uh, um, 
and, and to uncover, sorry, the truth about your numbers. Because numbers are, what are numbers? Are the language of the universe. Numbers have such a role. If you look at the world we are living in, everything is associated with a number. A number is a form of energy. A number is your, it has to do with your divine codification. Uh, a number corresponds to a letter. It's exactly like you learn the alphabet because you cannot write without knowing the alphabet. You need to know the alphabet of the universe, which is the numbers. And numbers are associated with planets. So planets are forms of energy, but you are a form of energy. Now, I call this course the Magic of Numbers Numerology course by Dr. Hara. And it will run from September 29th till August 1st. It's a, it's a three-day, um, very uh, um, packed with information seminar, very, very condensed, very intense seminar. It happens online via Zoom. You get a link. And uh, I want you to participate from the comfort of your own home. And you will learn, I promise you, the ins and outs of numerology. Opportunity also to ask me questions is very important. So, but the best of all is that all of you will receive a certified numerology diploma, international diploma upon completion. You can become a numerologist. This is how I did it many, many years ago. Um, meanwhile, I was uh, g going to college, but I wanted to take this course, and I studied with a Harvard professor, and I was certified in numerology very something years called decoding. I'm a numerologist. And so you, I don't know why the connection is bad. My producer said the connection is not good. Let me see if I can do something about it. Is this better? Okay. So I want you to get this diploma. I want you to come at the course. I want you to learn. Uh, even if you have a different career, even if you um, have a different business, it's okay, you know, to learn something else. I always... Uh, in my life, I wanted to learn more in, in different areas and always uncover different mysteries about life. So uh, I want you to open the door, and I want to open the door for you to practice this science. Uh, you can practice it for fun, for your own self, but you can make it a full-time career if you want. This diploma will give you that opportunity. Because I have an institute of metaphysics, I also, I am a certified numerologist. I'm also a doctor in psychology and nutrition. And I also um, uh, wrote two books uh, on this subject. But due, exact, uh, due to the personalized nature of this course, seats are limited. I cannot take a lot of people. And I want you to secure your, your, uh, your uh, uh, ticket before they sell out. Go to my site, carmenhara.com, and click on shop at the top of the page, and you will learn about these three days, uh, Friday, September 29, which is introduction in the concept, the history, the mystery, the methods, the meaning of number, the significance, the karmic numbers, the lesson from past life, the influence they play into the future, then Saturday, uh, how to unlock your personality, your potential, which are your life cycles which is the relationship numerology, evaluating compatibility, chemistry between people, which is so important because we we'll, we will stop making mistakes about who to uh, stop dating or who to be or who not to be with, to be or not to be, talking about Shakespeare. But anyhow, day three, Sunday, October 1st, career numerology, your calling, your professional potential, your abundance through numbers, numbers that you are missing, how to attract success, how to attract uh, prosperity, how to, you know, apply numerology in everyday life and how to uh, summarize the most significant aspect. So there's so much that you can, you can learn. There are things that you can benefit from. You have an internationally recognized diploma. Uh, 
you have you you will get a profound knowledge of this science and the ability to interpret and apply this information to help yourself, help the people in your family, help your friends, and even, you know, uh, do it as a career and be paid for your time. And um, you will get a video recording, all kinds of other information. So uh, it's going to be something that you can benefit a lot. I tell you, when I did this course, it really changed my life. I never stopped this thing, using this for the rest of my life. And again, I talk about 35, 38 years ago when I did it. I was really young and I was very fascinated by this. And um, what I want to tell you, this course is $500. You can pay in three installments, $150, $150, and then uh, $200. So you pick the, op the option that is more suitable. But you can choose two payments, or you can choose to pay in one payment. Um, I think it's a very reasonable price. There's a lot of people involved in this uh, project, assistants uh, uh, and uh, um, different other people who work, you know, to create the foundation of the course. But completing this course is for your personal growth. It's a personal growth milestone. It will provide you the knowledge and the tools to steer the course of your destiny as well as positively influence the li your life and the life of others. So, as I said, enroll today to, to the magic of numerology and you will not regret because it's going to uplift your life through the power of this science because this is a science and this is the foundation of the physical world. But I'm going to go and take your calls because there are so many of you waiting for me, and actually I'm, I'm going to go straight to um, Victor because I haven't been talking to him in a very long time, and uh, uh, I, I am very grateful, Victor, that you called me. How are you, my dear? Oh, Carmen. Hi, how are you? Thank you so very much for picking me. Oh, <laughs> how is everything good, with you? Good. I'm great, but it's good to hear your voice. I miss you. haven't heard from you in a long time. Oh, you know, how so many I, things were happening. How can I help you today? Yes. Dear Carmen, first of all, I want to thank you very much for your last prediction you did on, the, on your radio program. You mm -hmm. just uh, you predicted my job, the name of my supervisor, and even a continuation, there was a second supervisor, uh, so female, and whatever you told me, there was completely... It came true absolutely like you predicted. I'm stunned. I know you're great at that. But I was so, so grateful at that moment and now. And I'd like to ask you, uh, if you can see for me early like sooner retirement, or I still continue uh, working, do the job I'm doing, or maybe I'll change it. Because, yeah, I'm really, I'm really... I'm curious, uh, so because the situation, I'd like to just, you know, to to, mm -hmm. to know what my what to expect in the nearest future. Do I keep my previous job, uh, my my current job, or uh, I don't I have might a feeling change. of uh, retirement yet. I don't have that mm -hmm. feeling. I really? actually think you are really ready for retirement. Uh, <laughs> no. Do you do you agree? I agree. I agree. But sometimes, you know, I think maybe I would have more peace of mind <laughs> because yes it's really and no. It's becoming, I think, boring to be retired. Yeah. You know, you you need to. Your mind needs to be active. You need to do things. And if you're involved in a in a job, it keeps you going. It keeps your mind working. It it motivates you. It causes empowerment. Of course, if you are having a health problem, which is not your case, then, yeah, I, I think retirement is justified. But if you are still healthy and okay like you are, uh, my opinion as, as your friend is to continue. And, I, and intuitively speaking, I don't see you giving up on this job, at least not any time uh, soon. Give me uh -huh. the month and the day when you're born. I want to see your personal year. I want to see where, where exactly you are. Oh, yes. It's a June 16, 1959. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Happy you. Happy yeah. birthday. 
So <laughs> Thank um, you. you're in, um, in the year five and you might think of changes, but actually um, this is a challenging year because you, you might see other options. Somebody's going to tell you about something else and all the way through the course of this year till the summer of next year. But believe mm -hmm. it or not, after the summer of 24 till the summer of 25, you have a very good year, a year in which you might find to do something different, but you might continue more than before, you know, to, to engage in work. So that's uh -huh. definitely the case. So uh, okay. I'm, not, uh, I'm not worried of you. On the contrary, I should say for a number of years from now, you will still continue to work. Um, uh -huh. Even if at some point, probably in the next two years, you will consider doing something different, but not, not now. Stay where you okay. are. I see you also traveling. I don't know if you have a plan to go somewhere. Do you have that in mind? I do have in mind going back home. Mm -hmm. to visit. I feel like I that will be a good idea uh, because it's always good to go back where, you, where you're coming from. And revisit, yes. and revisit, and it gives you a hint, it gives you an idea where you stand. Um, Absolutely. And, and uh, I, I also see there's another opportunity for a different type of work, not immediately, that we can talk about that in a frame of time, in a, uh -huh. in a period of time, probably in eight months from now, you will know much more. Uh, okay. Overall, things are very, very good. Oh, wonderful. And your wonderful. health is good, and you have longevity, and, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you are here for a very long time, and that's, that's great. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope, <laughs> I hope it's, it is, like it happens, like you say. Thank you so it much. Is, for, it is, and you're healthy, and you're a wonderful human being, and I'm very grateful to, to speak with you today, Victor, okay? You know that Thank I love you. your name, and... You as a person, you are terrific. Thank you very much, okay, Carmen. Okay, my love. I'm, my... I'm thinking about you very frequently. Sometimes, you know, like, oh, oh how's Carmen? I have, <laughs> I'm to, so I have glad. to contact her. And it's, I'm so glad. Just, you know, when I change the job, yeah, I, it, my life became so hectic. Like, you know, really, that's... Right. Like, because it's, it's pretty demanding, physically demanding right. sometimes. Right, I know, I know. And, yeah, yeah. But and, you can that, still do it. You can, it yeah. keeps you going. It keeps you going. <laughs> There, there, oh, yeah. there is a there is a benefit. Trust me, there really is. There really yeah, is. yeah. And and uh, Carmen, one more th my one thing sure. is uh, that my sure. trip might be uh, late, like what in a, in a full time or earlier, like I think home. your trip can be any time in the next two months, three months. I think is then in the near future. Uh -huh. uh, if you don't do it now, till the fall, you might be in the spring of the next year. But in a frame of Ten months from now, I definitely see you traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, my my concern is health of my mom, and I didn't see her yeah, for a while. Yeah, definitely. I even wanted to ask you if is there is a way to go for the sake of uh, seeing your parent and seeing your mom. It's it's just such a such a wonderful feeling. It's worth yeah. m making the trip. Yeah. Yeah, but it can be like this year or like, like you say, springtime either, next either, year. Yeah, the, the perfect time I see you doing it is in a frame of 11 months, which would be if you don't go now in the next two, three months, you'll certainly go by March, April or May of the next year. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This is that's the what, time to make it happen. That's what, that's what I was thinking. Right. Oh, Carmen, it's, you have such a nice ability to... <laughs> to charge with the positive energies, everybody, and me in oh. particular. And it's always a great pleasure to talk to you, to listen mm. to you, and I'm wishing you only good mm. and best, only best and more success Thank than you me. have. You're a very su successful lady. I am following, I'm checking your publications, <laughs> your books, your, your Facebook, your website, Oh, and sometimes I want to know what's in Romanian language. No time to learn Romanian. I speak different languages. <laughs> right, right. No, no time for Romanian. I'm really curious, you know, listening, <laughs> watching your clips <laughs> on, some, on your website. Yeah, sometimes uh -huh. I have a lot of fans from that part of the world. And sometimes I'm doing, you know, things in, in that language. And I'm, I'm just trying to translate or, you know, so that... Um, yeah. 
uh, my American followers that understand what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Uh, so sometimes, yeah. yeah, so interesting to, to know what's, what's going on there. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Because <Right. laughs> language is very unique. And you, 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 cannot is, guess you know that uh, the Romanian language is the language that preserved the Latin origin better than any yeah. other Latin language, uh, uh, French, uh, Spanish, uh, Italian. Uh -huh. Actually, Romanian is the closer to Latin than any yeah, of yeah. them, and Portuguese, and way closer. I studied oh. Latin in college, yeah, when I was mm -hmm. young, and I uh, realized this, and um, you know, everybody else can confirm this, but it's fascinating uh, how this uh, part of the world preserved the Latin uh, uh, language better than the others. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice, okay, and I have a feeling you are visiting frequently the country, yeah? So no, I haven't been there in five, six years, quite a long time. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I haven't been there. I haven't been, and I'm contemplating myself to go there at some point. Oh, there was yeah, connection on, on Internet. Oh, I thought maybe you have, like, it's, kind of programs no, over there. No, everything is done online, but I haven't been there physically. And I have there so many people, millions of people want to see me. I have uh, uh, TV shows, everybody there uh, are begging me to go back and they want to see me. And I, I, uh, I hope I'll be able to do it as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, I wish you do. All right. And uh, one, once again, thank you so very much. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Okay, my dear. Thank you. I am so grateful that you called me, Victor. And I'm going All to take best. a short break. I love you, Victor. I love you, too. I love you. Have a good day. I'm going to take a short break, and then I'm going to go to Denise in Las Vegas. The best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Om Times Media one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. You came across someone struggling with hunger. How would you recognize them? Would you notice an eight-year-old girl who's not, not excited, excited for, for summer them? break because she may not be having lunch again until September? or a war veteran who's having a hard time landing a job and getting back on his feet. I am the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. I am hunger in America. Hunger can be hard to recognize. Learn why at IamHungerInAmerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. And I'm back and I'm gonna call, I'm gonna talk right now to Denise who's, who's been calling for, uh, waiting for, for a while. Hi, my lovely Denise. How are you, my dear? Hello, Carmen. Can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I knew when I told your producer at Las Vegas you would know who I was. Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't <laughs> heard from you in a long time. It's been a long time, over a year. Yes. And so, um, uh, you know, I'm not on the topic of tonight's show, but your producer said it was okay. So I'm going to try and, yes. you, know, you know, explain as best I can without mm -hmm. taking up too much time. Absolutely. But yeah, you know, you may remember, and I'm not in Las Vegas anymore, by the way, which is one of the reasons why I'm calling. Remember there was a while ago, I was at my mother's condo in Las Vegas. I'd been her caretaker. She was yes. put into a living, I right? I remember. Believe it or not, I do remember. I, 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 I know. And you and I both agreed it was not the place for her. And a long, long, very long story short with, with regard to that, um, my mom really had gone so incredibly downhill that I don't even want to say on air. I could send you an right. email first. But, but um, the happy ending, uh, finally she was put into the hospital, and that made my brother finally admit to move her. And now my mother is in Shangri-La. 
She's been moved to a group home, only six people, 24-hour care, creme de la creme. She's as happy as can be. And, Carmen, when I tell you she got there Saturday, and as of today, the woman was wheelchair-bound, fully full-blown dementia, wasn't dressing herself, standing naked with her. I don't want to get too descriptive. Now, dressed, perfumed, talking, walking, happy. I mean, it's like she's... And I knew this was going to happen if she were in the right environment. So my mom, right. thank goodness, has been put into the proper place where she belongs and where she can thrive. Right. Now, as, as That's amazing. Me, That's amazing. Isn't it amazing? She just turned it's 97. Amazing. Her 97. Oh, my God. This is such an inspiration. I love it. Right? And she had gone so down, Carmen. I, I, oh. Oh, and I took my brother for a year. And now and he calls me every day giddy. He cannot believe what he's seeing. And I said, Frank, I told you. I told you she needed to get out of there. <laughs> right, <laughs> I right. Needed, I couldn't believe it. I can't believe it. I, I, I told her I'm going to come visit her. She goes, nah, you don't have to. I'm busy. Like, she, like she's completely. <laughs> Love that. Uh, she's walking around. She was Good. Walking, she's walking all over with the walker. And uh, anyway, Oh, my so God. That's so beautiful. Hey, the environment, the other place was killing her. So um, that being said, her condo was sold. Uh, I did have to mm-hmm. move. I, I moved uh, at the very, very end of last August. And um, mm-hmm. I had wanted to stay in Las Vegas at the time. This is why I'm calling. But because of the pressure, I, I, I literally had to move. Uh, um, I, 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 there was not wiggle room. So I moved right. back to Los Angeles to the apartment that I used mm-hmm. to live in. I remember mentioning it to you at one mm-hmm. point. And I moved here, and I've been here 10 months. And the first few months and several months were just horrible. I wanted to go back to Vegas. Now, in mm-hmm. May, I just moved. It was, it was so bad, Carmen, that um, I, I was going to get out of here. Plus, it was at such a, a, a rent that I could not afford. Uh, but I only took it right. because I was promised one of these tax credit apartments that is a much lower rent. And lo and mm-hmm. behold, you told me this over a year ago. You said someone would like me and get me into one of these apartments. And sure enough, somebody loved me here and got me into one of these apartments. And it's a thousand dollars less. And it's oh wow, breath- breathtakingly gorgeous, a gorgeous, wow. gorgeous, gorgeous, wow. gorgeous, gorgeous loft. That's fabulous news. I'm telling you, and I thought of you, and by the way, I'm wearing your bracelet that you gave me. I wear it every day, so I think of you every day, by the way. <laughs> now, my question is this. The, life here, the lifestyle here in Los Angeles is not entirely for me. Like, in, in Las Vegas, when I left there, I left pretty much all of a person's essential daily needs, you know, there. Okay. Banking, grocery stores, favorite stores, favorite restaurants, favorite this, favorite that. You know, I, I literally have gone down to zero. In fact, I haven't used my car in over a month. It just sits in the parking garage. Like, um, And I've been here long enough to know the lifestyle of L.A. And I don't like L.A., regardless of where it is, West Hollywood. Blah, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, I, and downtown is um, okay, but it really is true. There is a lot of crime down here. Um, hmm. all of that, and so uh, it's a little tricky. I, I can't walk around by myself at night. Right. Uh, and, um, you know, my essentials, my health insurance is expiring, and on top of it, I in Vegas, when I was emptying in my mom's house, I wound up with a severely herniated disc in the emergency room, my oh. lumbar three, herniated both sides, Impingement sciatic and peroneal nerves, and it's above oh, no. my my previous fusion of my oh, L4 no, no, five. No. So I still am dealing with that, and I can keep that pretty much under control. But I don't have any medical care or anything that I can do. But no, you need that. I do, and my my question in a in a in a was what I what I want to ask is this: Do you see me staying here? in Los Angeles, or is Vegas a better place for me? And here's the key thing I want to tell you, that had I have stayed in Vegas initially, it would have been a a very easy transition because it was the horrible situation of having to move out of my mom's that I wanted to get away from. 
and right. having my own space and being in Vegas, I would have gotten along with my life. So um, now that I'm here in L.A., the one thing I do like is having my own place, but it, it, it feels like this is the wrong the wrong. Yeah, yeah, I don't and, see you there. No. Mm-mm. You know, right? I no. don't. I don't. And, it's, it's, and, and I feel, and this is my question, is going back to Las Vegas, the key word being back. Um, yeah. I like see you leaving any time between November to March of the next year. Amazing. That's exactly what I was thinking. You're right on mm-hmm. again. Right. And uh, really, okay, well, I will certainly talk to you before then. But, you know, mm-hmm. the fact that my mom's here and my brother and my niece and nephew family like that, I mean, it doesn't really much matter because I didn't see them at all anyway for Thanksgiving, right. Christmas. Exactly. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I wanted to to get at least on the track. I don't because you have other callers. So well, you have to live your life, and, and so just to answer your question, yeah. you will move from there, and it's gonna be for your own good. Okay. So okay. This is Got that. this so is that, the most important that, piece of information. Okay, great. That's where mm-hmm. that's what I'm gonna take with me from this call and. As a little bit time goes by, I'll, I'll talk to you or contact you a little bit more about call about call that. any call any time, my love, any time. Okay. Then it's but okay. definitely see me not being here. No, definitely not being there. Good. The more the I time agree. goes by, the more clear this will be to you. The more the okay. time goes by, you will understand. Yes, I have to move, and you will get eager, you know, and excited about the move. Okay. Oh, so. Carmen. Oh, uh, what can I say? You're, you're right on, as usual. Thank you so much, because I really wanted to ask you mm-hmm. specifically this question. Okay, my love. Thank you, Thank Dennis. you so much. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you, my love. I'm going to go to Edward, uh, and then I'm going to take a short break, and then I'll go to Christine. But I'll take Edward from Ontario. I'll take a break, and then I'll go to Christine. Hello. Hello. Hi, dear Edward. Hi, Hi, Carmen. How are you? So good to hear your voice. Good, good. I'm very glad uh, I connect with you. It's been something on my mind, but uh, you know, I'm young and living a fast life, and never, good. never uh, made this do it. And uh, this, this is the time I'm here with my mom, and I wanted to give you a quick call. And uh, I know very there's a lot good. of people waiting. I just want to ask. I just want to ask you two little questions. One, it's uh, yes. regarding my job right now. I'm uh, I'm kind of off right now due to a, a small injury that happened at work, and uh, mm-hmm. the the main thing that I'm concerned about and and wondering is what's happening with my health. I have uh, I have uh, uh, some uh, testing going to happen at the end of July, which is like an MRI uh, scan, and I'm just wondering what like what, what what's been bothering me if it's something serious that will require surgery or it's something no. that will go away with treatment. We'll go away with treatment and actually we'll go away faster than you think and the recovery is going to be easier than you think. So nothing to worry. If if anybody will suggest a surgery, trust me, it's totally unnecessary. So uh, I will not go for any surgery. I will just uh, allow my body, the body is intelligent, to, to adjust and to recover. And I think that in a matter of two months and a half, you will be very, very well. And uh, you should not be worried. Wow. Uh, this is not serious, and uh, you will be fully recovered, I promise you. So, um, the wow. energy is really good in spite of everything. I, I do imagine there's something here and there that bothers you, but it's very temporary. And uh, second of all, I see a change oh. of a job, but not right now. I think you should take your time to um, sort of, I feel almost like reinventing yourself or going into a different direction. Uh, by my opinion, that, is that's how I've been feeling lately. I've been, uh, yeah. I've been feeling like taking a sharp turn in my profession, but at the same time, I have a new opportunity now that's sort of presenting to me. Uh, right. The job that I currently have right now is good I'm paid well I'm compensated well I have all the benefits mm-hmm. one can wish right. for uh, yeah. with pension and everything and 
But the, the, the problem is that the work I do, I'm not totally satisfied with. And I yeah. have another opportunity that, that's not so well compensated as this one. But the, the work would be more desirable. And I don't know if this opportunity will actually be something that's going to be official, that's going to be offered to me. And if, mm. if it will be offered to me, should I take this opportunity? Or do you see me staying at the current place that I'm off right now because of my medical condition, but I'm still employed at? Do you see me staying here? where I'm currently at or do you think I'll get a new job in the next how long? Uh, I think you will stay here for a while. You might stay here for another eight months to a year and four months probably even mm -hmm. less. And then the new opportunity, you will embark on something new. You will feel like closing doors to this uh, chapter in the book of your life and wanting to start something better and more. It's like, okay, this place where you are right now uh, you had an injury, uh, memories are not probably the best, uh, in spite of the fact that they are offering you such and such, uh, you will be better in a different place. And, and, and again, even in your case, the more the time goes by, the more you acknowledge that, in fact, you would love to leave, you know, and uh, uh, go move yeah. in, a different, in a different environment. And even try something completely different, more fulfilling, more, more what you always wanted to do. And you see this happening in the next, like, four to eight months, you would say? Yeah, something like that. It's an approximate. I mean, time is, time is very fluid. You can, you, you can stretch time. And uh, uh, I can't tell you mm -hmm. precisely, but approximately, yeah. Yes, yes. and, and you see it being May something totally out of here. Yeah. In now, right now. Well, yeah. Some, something totally different. Something that's going to make you feel a more, in, it's empowering you, you know. More what you always mm -hmm. need to do. This is a job. This is not a vocation. You're going to do something that becomes a vocation. That is your calling. You're going to do something that you will feel ten times more rewarded, more in tune with. More um, empowered. That's, that's what I've been desiring and, and looking yeah, right. for and, and seeking in my life. That's a missing mm -hmm. puzzle. So right. ho hopefully, I, I, you know, I'm following everything that you've been telling my mother and, and everything's become true, you know, to, to the exact uh, letter, to the exact name. To, and I, I've always wanted to call you and I, I really appreciate you answering these questions. And this leads me to my last question, which is just overall, uh, like family and and just just overall what what you can tell me what what you can see in the near future and and how you think see things yeah, going for are, us for are, for my uh, family and I your family are very good you guys are very blessed you genuinely authentically love each other you're there for each other you're a very solid solid family um things for you guys are moving for better to better you know even financially your your connection is very strong. You help each other. Uh, everybody's doing well. Nothing to be worried. Do you have a baby? Yes, I just had a two-year-old. Her okay. name is Abigail. I'm okay. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have another one soon, but yes, time will tell, I guess. Baby. There's another baby coming in the next less than two years. So yeah, you will have another child. Oh wow! And a girl. And what do you have? A boy right now? No, a girl. Oh, a girl. So then you. A girl, and her name is Abigail. Oh, Abigail. Oh, sorry, you said Abigail. Oh, nice. I should have realized. So if you have you have a daughter and a son, so if you have the daughter, you have your your boy. You have your son. And you will tell nice. me. So well, we can't wait for him. And I don't know why the name Michael yes, comes. Yes, I'm. To I'm. Me. Michael, Michael, something with this name. Uh, very possible that. This might have something to do with the name of your son. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> so, <I'm so> excited. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. My middle name is actually Mihai, so it's okay, fairly so close. Mihai is Michael. Yeah, yeah. Mihai is Michael. So, I don't know why I feel very strong about this name, but I really do. And I see a day of 14. And I will not be surprised if your kid will be born on a day of 14. So I really, I really no. that uh, I know. wonderful things are happening to you. Okay, my love. Thank you so much for calling me. 
Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for taking my call. I wish you a beautiful evening and you, thank you so much. God bless you. You too, my dear Edward, and all the love to your entire family. I love you, my dear. I'm going to go and take thank a you short so break. I'll take a short break and then I'll go to Christine from Florida. The best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free ascendinghearts.com My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Om Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What is Going On? My passion is sifting through information, research, and innovations from new thought teachers, speakers, and researchers, pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life, energy, metaphysics, and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here, and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness, and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Thursday. And together, we can discover what's really going on. If I could be you, and you could be me, for just one hour, if you could find a way to get inside each other's mind, walk a mile in my shoes, walk a mile in my shoes, walk, walk a mile, mile in, in my, my shoes. shoes. We've all felt left out, and for some, that feeling lasts more than a moment. We can change that. Learn how at belongingbeginswithus.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Walk a mile in my shoes. And I'm back, Herman Hara on On Time Radio, talking about the secrets of good communication. I didn't have any, even uh, the possibility during the show to dive into these five secrets, uh, but hopefully next week or uh, on another show, we can talk much more about how significant it is communication in a relationship. But now I'm going to go to Christine. Hi, Christine. How are you, my dear? Good evening, Dr. Hara. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm excited to talk to you, my love. <laughs> Thank you for taking sure. my call. We spoke last about a year ago when I had just gotten back from India. I had been living mm -hmm. and working there for one year, and um, you had predicted that I would have multiple opportunities in the fall of last year, which you were totally right. Um, and I took one of them. I thought it was the right one, but um, mm -hmm. and it probably was from a certain perspective, but it turned out to be a burnout year. And um, actually, I wasn't planning on staying and the universe sort of worked for me in that the, mm -hmm. position, was the position was eliminated for next year. Mm -hmm. So I was reaching out to you to um, first, I always I mean, this time of year, I always have some time out, and I always enjoy um, listening to you on Om Times and um, all that you share and give from your heart and the wisdom. So thank you for the, um, you know, the the words on thank relationships, you. which are so critical now, especially in our times, learning how to trust one another, um, oh, especially. So, true. yeah, I want to <laughs> inspire that um, tonight. But also, I want to just understand from you if you see any new beginnings in professional relationships for me now that um, I'm back in the same kind of in the, the same place and, and searching again but I'm, I'm hoping that the next um, opportunity is a little more long term because I really do want to build strong connections with people and bring the depth and breadth of my experience and who I am into a, a new position. 
Yeah, you you said it so so beautifully, and I have a feeling of a um, new job, in a new new um, endeavor with three other women. So uh -huh. I haven't seen this before, and one of those women has an A and L initial, and okay. um, they look very different. One is blonde, one is brunette, but they so motivated to do something. Almost like this is a a new company that was just created and you uh -huh. will be able to join forces with this woman and at some point you might even become a partner with them you might oh. be originally employed this looks like it's something different the company has phenomenal potential to grow to make it something big to expand you know uh, mm -hmm. into something even global so this phenomenal. So I feel like you will, you will have, and, and one woman is definitely Jenny or Jackie or something like that. I feel it clear their names in my head. And, okay. Uh, I know I'm right. I know I'm right. It's just time. Let the time show you and pray for this to be revealed to you uh, mm -hmm. because it's going to give you a chance of, like I said, being on a vocation and on a calling that just on some kind of a career somewhere that you don't feel fully accomplished. So I feel like doing this, you will have a sense of, I am really where I want, always wanted to be, but I didn't know I'm going to get there. And here I am. I finally made it. Like, it's going to feel mm -hmm. like you made it overnight, but actually it took a while for you to progress slowly to this point into your life in which you achieve such an extraordinary opportunity of, of, of being who you are meant to be and building mm -hmm. on your own self and making always the money you always wanted to make. Because I feel like oh. you will generate way more income than you did in the last 10 years. So that's kind of like a quantum leap, you know, uh, wow. when it comes to the financial recognition that this job is offering to you. Now, mm -hmm. does any of this information resonate? Because sometimes things might not resonate right away. You understand? Um, not right now, what's on yeah. the table right now. No, mm -hmm. um, but um, it's exciting and definitely sparks, a, um, you know, a double beat in my heart. <laughs> right. Because of the way you framed it up. Do you see me? Um, is this opportunity um, international? Is it an international yeah, opportunity? It has. I even said this has an international potential. This is a company mm -hmm. that can allow you to travel different parts of the world. Uh, you can do research. You can um, uh, uh, do the part of marketing promotion. Have you ever done anything like this? Well, I'm an international educator, so I've spent most of my, and an artist, and I've spent most of my career overseas around the world. Um, you see that? So this is what this does. This is what mm -hmm. this does. This company does something like this. Mm, in but I'm interested, have, yeah. Yeah. To move more into leadership now, I really am interested oh, in Oh, you will be a leader. You will be a leader. So, so it, I said it all the way from the beginning. The beauty of it is that you become, you become a force here. You become one of the, the those partners, you know, in this uh, company, it, like owning this. So that's why mm -hmm. you're a leader because you're also an owner. So you have a word to say. You have a decision to make. You're a decision mm -hmm. maker. Uh, mm. it, it gives you the authority, the authority you didn't have before. Right. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Do you so, see a location I in the world? I love it. I love it. You need to see different location in this world. And not uh, only that I see something in Europe, I also see other big parts of the world, you know, uh, uh -huh. like, like places like Australia, even India, even Japan. It's just fascinating how this can take you where you don't even expect. Hmm. Oh, wow. And do you have any kind of rough timeline? I know that it's really difficult to predict in the spiritual um, realm. But. From February of that next year, this message becomes a reality for you. Even in mm. December, the first uh, awareness about this project and this uh, uh, opportunity to you 
Uh, mm -hmm. That to me is a huge project. Uh, uh, mm. become, comes to, comes to you, you know, in, in in some form, and then turns into a, a enormous potential. The what I'm telling you about. I mm. I love that is international. I love that you've been putting so much into it, and this is like, almost like the time of recognition, the time yes. to collect to collect what you've been investing in for all yes. all these years, you know. You yes, are rewarded, exactly. finally, you know? Yes, that's exactly what I'm actually looking for. That resonates really deeply with me. Mm -hmm. I'm um, so proud you of you. I feel like you oh. will make a difference. You'll oh, make a difference. I even feel that you might write um, things about it. It can even turn into a book, you know? Oh, People are excited yes. about these traveling experiences of others because... It mm. collects so much knowledge about culture, you know, mm. communities and lifestyles and, and uh, perception of the world. It's just the complexity of it is fascinating. Mm. Wow. And uh, you're one of those people, by the way you look at it, you have such a, a depth, such wisdom. Uh, I'm, I'm like uh, so <laughs> pleased with the way uh. this is going to turn for you, my love. Thank you, Dr. Hart. God bless you. Thank you. I love you, my dear. And thank you so much for calling. And everybody else, uh, uh, Lauren, Kim, uh, Lelani, all you guys, I couldn't talk to you tonight, but I'll talk to you next week. I love you and thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Carmen Hara on Home Time Radio. I'll be with you next week, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Home Time. God bless you.